Thank you for joining us for this special webinar series highlighting the new 2014 research grants funded by the AKC Canine Health Foundation. In all, 17 grants were approved, totaling nearly $1.5 million for canine health research. These projects cover 10 unique areas of canine health. In each of the short videos in this series, CHF's Chief Scientific Officer, Dr. Sheila Nordone, explains the proposed work, significance, and impact for each grant, and how these projects will work together to move canine health forward so that all dogs can live longer, healthier lives. We hope you find these webinars to be informative and exciting. Please visit www.akcchf.org forward slash donate to show your support for our funded research. In this session, Sheila will be discussing our new grants within the ophthalmology research program area. Ophthalmology is a research program area that we are trying to build. It is a major donor concern, and it is definitely a point of emphasis for the Canine Health Foundation as we move forward with our funding. And some areas of emphasis within the ophthalmology program include gene expression and molecular interactions that are important to the eye, clinical application of research findings to prevent, diagnose, and treat disease affecting the eye and the visual system, and some special topics of interest include corneal disease, cataracts, retinal disease, and, and really any abnormalities within the visual pathways. The first grant that we funded in our ophthalmology research program area for this year is Grant 2057, Identification of the Genetic Causes of Corneal Ulcers. The principal Im investigator is Dr. Keith Montgomery. He's at North Carolina State University and we funded this grant for $27,201. The focus of Dr. Montgomery's research are refractory ulcers. These are chronic corneal ulcers that fail to undergo normal healing. Certain breeds are predisposed to developing refractory ulcers, predominantly boxers, and this suggests that refractory ulcers are inherited. Affected dogs develop spontaneous corneal ulcers that are often exceptionally painful and they persist for weeks to months. Most dogs ultimately require surgical therapy to heal the corneal ulcer and experience corneal scarring as a result of this surgery. Re refractory ulcers can effectively be treated, however, some dogs do develop additional episodes of corneal ulcers during their lifetime. The quality of life for these dogs during these episodes um, because of the pain has really led to an increased interest in disease prevention. And um, most problematic for breeders is that refractory ulcers are an adult onset disease. So many dogs are selected for breeding before they are diagnosed. The deliverables for the corneal ulcer study, Dr. Montgomery is going to perform a genome-wide association study to identify an association of a genetic region to the presence of these refractory ulcers. He's going to closely evaluate the chromosomal region of interest to determine the gene and ultimately the causative genetic mutation. And Dr. Montgomery believes that identification of a genetic cause for refractory ulcers can be used to reduce the prevalence of this disease in multiple affected breeds. The next grant I want to tell you about is 2061, Emergence of Pigmentary Uveitis as a Potential Cause of Cataracts and Glaucoma. This is a continuation of ACORN Grant 1727. The principal investigator is Dr. Wendy Townsend. She's from Purdue, and the total grant amount is $74,070. Pigmentary uveitis affects 10% of senior golden retrievers and frequently results in blindness due to cataracts and or, glauco and or glaucoma formation. There is currently no way to prevent or effectively treat pigmentary uveitis. Dr. Townsend will perform a genome-wide association study to identify chromosomal region associated with golden retriever pigmentary uveitis. She'll use high-throughput DNA sequencing to allow identification of the causative mutation, and she's also planning on exploring gene expression differences in affected versus unaffected dogs. As I said earlier, ophthalmology is a research program area that we are trying to develop, and we do have two other studies that are currently funded, Grant 1594, Identifying the Genes Associated with Glaucoma, and 1874, Identifying the Genes that Confer Risk <clears throat> for the Development of Cataracts. If I can do that one over. Okay. <coughs> yeah, just go on over. Okay. As I said in the beginning, our ophthalmology research program area is an area that we are trying to develop, and we do have two other studies that are funded and complementary to the OAKS that we funded this year. 
Grant 1594, identifying the genes associated with glaucoma, and Grant 1874, identifying the genes that confer risk for the development of cataracts in the dog. For more information and to support these grants, please visit us online at www.akcchf.org forward slash 2014 grants.